lesson for you, for anyone else looking looking at this? Well, he's dead, so uh, you know. In general, you always have to be careful, uh, and you know the. You know, I'm I'm very proud of what we've done in philanthropy. Very proud of the work of the foundation. Uh, you know, I, that's that's what I get up every day and focus on. So she asks him, "Is there a lesson?" And to me, this should have been a very easy question. But again, his answer is way off. He replied, "Well, he's dead." This breaks the conversational maximum of irrelevance. His answer does not logically correspond to what she asked him. And that's why this moment is the weirdest one in the interview. As the questions get easier, his answers get less connected. He then pivots to his work with the Gates Foundation. And in crisis communication research, we call this technique bolstering. When companies and, and politicians get accused of wrongdoing, they often try to refocus the conversation on all of the good things they're doing to bolster their image. So he says, I'm a philanthropist, you know, I'm very generous. Now, bolstering like this is not an admission of guilt, but he is using it as a way to change the subject instead of answering a very basic question that he was asked. So big picture, I don't know what really happened with Gates and Epstein. I'm not evaluating him as a person, but the way he handled these questions were really high on the hinky scale. And if you want to present yourself like a credible person, this interview is not an example of how to do that well.